Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. Today we're taking a look at some of the features in iOS 12. We're gonna go ahead and get started with Memoji since uh, that's probably gonna be one of the more popular things that people are talking about when the new iPhones come around in uh, September or October. And uh, yeah, so to get to that, you go to messages here and then you go to your usual uh, an emoji spot and here you'll find a new little plus icon and there you can add a new me emoji um, Here you can see some that I created so that's me right here And then this is me trying to make some type of Lincoln type of thing and uh, not, Then the same thing with a hat So the cool thing here is that if you have one that you like you can actually duplicate it and edit that but let's go ahead and make a new one and uh, Here you can you know choose any skin color that you want. Let's go with just normal human skin color you can put some freckles on it and change the color of everything pretty much here. So if you see anything, you can pretty much change the color of that. You can choose your hairstyles and you can see there's a lot of different types of hairs. And I think there's more hairstyles for women than there are for men right now. And uh, yeah, so you can see there, you can just change that. You can put that right there and uh, change your age, which is a very slight change. It adds a little bit of wrinkles there, but it's barely noticeable. Uh, here you can change your chin, which let's go with that. And moving on to the eyes here, we can choose the eyes, eyelashes, and I'm kind of just going over it because there's really no point. It's just trying to show you guys how it it's able to customize everything. We got different types of brows. Let's go with the nose and lips here. Oh, this is not turning out very nice. Let's see here, ears, you can choose larger ears, different types of earrings here. And you can change the color of that as well. Facial hair, so you can put beards. And uh, yeah, it's got a lot of different styles where you can pretty much make a bunch of different things. And I'm sure people will find out different ways to make cartoons and you could probably make someone that looks like Mario in this. And uh, you can see it detecting my face from all the way over there and you can see it gives you a little preview there. When I move my head, it kind of moves there. You can choose some glasses here and you can change the color of the frames and the lenses and the opacity of the lenses, which is kind of cool. And uh, the headwear, so you want to change the hat. And it has a bunch of different styles, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. So overall, you can see that it does have physics. So if you choose like really um, long hair, the hair actually moves in here. The bell or the little thing on the back of the Santa hat actually moves as well. And uh, yeah, you can see it right there. It's pretty cool. And yeah, so these are the ones that I made again. And the cool thing about this is that you can tap on it. Of course, you can record a video and send it to somebody like you can with any Animoji, and you guys know that. But uh, if you choose camera now, you have an extra little button right here that's a star. You click that, and that is gonna move you on to a new filter set and Animoji set. So you can click on Animoji here, select your Animoji, and let's see if it gets me. And there you go. So I put it on me right there and uh, it works really well. Of course, right here, it's not gonna work very well. I'm in front of a camera. And you can switch between your Animoji. It is a little bit laggy, but it works extremely well. So here we have me, the one that I made. I can move around and it's laggy just because it's barely detecting my face through the camera. And uh, yeah, you can see right there, it works really well. And you can switch between those. And of course, you also have the new ones that they added here which was the Ghost, the T-Rex, and a couple of other ones. And they all work fairly well. The only thing right now that isn't working is that once you select one of these and you wanna take a picture with them, so we go back, you can see it's kinda of laggy, and you wanna take a picture, you click picture, and it's just gonna crash and it's not gonna save the picture to be able to send it. So right now that's not working in the developer beta, but uh, you know I'm sure it'll work in the next version or, uh, or soon, and definitely for the release, of course. So if we go back in, or not here, but here, and we click at the star again, they also added a bunch of little uh, filters. So we click right here. And let's see, let's see, let's see. We click on the filters. And you can change between different types of filters. We got ink, comic mono, watercolor mono, vivid. And then these are just your regular filters. But yeah, they added these couple filters here that you can change so that you can send the picture. Again, these aren't working, so when you take a picture, it does make everything lag and it doesn't send it. But it all is pretty cool and a very nice little feature that is definitely, in my opinion, better than Animoji 
previously, you know, that you can take pictures and all that like that. It works really nice. All right, so as far as other new changes, there really isn't much you're gonna see. We do have a new stocks app, which has some news at the bottom and overall looks a lot better and is more useful than previous um, than the previous version. We also have the voice memos app, which will now save all your recordings to iCloud, which is great. But overall, uh, nothing too exciting here. There is now notifications that will group together. So if you get a bunch of text messages, all that's gonna group together. But um, it's not really major changes. We do have this new measuring app, which uh, I couldn't get it to work in here. It was working fine outside. Let's see if we clear this, if we can get it to work. Let's start and then you pull here. And I know there's been apps like this in the app store, but those have rarely ever given me correct measurements. And this one actually works incredibly well. And it does a really good job of tracking the surface and giving you feedback by vibration on the phone. And you can see this right here is 12 and a half by 24. And that is about right. So uh, it works really well and it keeps that tracked. And uh, you can tap on that and you can see that a little bit larger. So a really nice app and you do have the level in here in case you want to use that. But uh, it's the best app right now for measuring on iOS. Now another thing they added was screen time and this is actually really neat, especially if you have kids or if you just can't control yourself on how much you're using apps. So you can limit yourself and basically you can put that you only want to use like Instagram or Facebook for an hour a day. Once you reach that hour limit, then you will be blocked from the app or told to get off and uh, you can't get back on it for the rest of the day, which is great. And this is gonna work across iPad, iPhone, and uh, not, not iMac, but it will work across iOS devices and it'll help you kind of manage your time and prevent you from you know using Snapchat for two hours or anything like that and uh, limiting yourself and you know improving your life to a certain degree if you've let your phone take over. Now I did check and we don't have any new tones or anything like that that I could see, which is unfortunate because I would have liked some new tones. Uh, as I mentioned before, we do have the new wallpaper that you saw in the background. But aside from that, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. There's a couple of other new stuff, but these are the main things that I, that I kind of wanted to go over because I liked myself. Ooh, and I almost forgot one of the other cool things that I actually really like was that they updated FaceTime. Now you can have uh, group chats with up to 32 people. And uh, here, I'm gonna start at FaceTime and you're also gonna get that little star icon right there in the bottom left. And that's for effect. <laughs> and uh, all right, so you can do an emoji here and you can have your memojis right there and you can actually put them on. It's gonna be a live effect in the video. So if you're in a call with other people and you wanna put that on, it's gonna work really well. And uh, you could hide your face if you want and you can change between the different Memojis and Animojis, and I thought that was pretty cool. You can also do live effects, so if you want to use all the cartoon effects and all that, you can, and you can even layer them on top of your Animojis and stuff, which is kind of neat. So right there, the effect I don't think is going on there, and that's just because a lot of things aren't working very well, and you can see it kind of lagging there. But uh, overall, it's actually pretty neat that you can do this, and uh, of course you got stickers now, you can add those and you can just continue adding people onto your conversation right down here. And you can click X to end the call right there. And uh, yeah, guys, so overall the beta, it's working really well. I haven't had issues with the main apps that I use. So if you wanna install it, it's not so bad. However, the battery life is horrendous and uh, my phone is heating up a lot with very little and simple usage. And uh, yeah, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask down below in the comments or on Twitter at rmrdnl or at dargadgets, and I will get back to you there. Aside from that, I will catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.